good morning guys it's friday june 16th here on the farm and you may can call me crazy but you can't call me lazy so what we got going on here is ben is in nashville he and his family uh entire family went up to spend father's day weekend there with his brothers and so while he's away, uh, I get to play, and he has no idea, but I think I'm about to cut the hay down. So he would definitely be calling crazy. Right now we have a 3% chance of rain today. It's like 20% tomorrow. We have a pasture that's close by, and the reason I'm even considering this is, like I said, it's middle of June. The ryegrass is hanging on by a thread it's not dead yet but the next 15 days besides today and tomorrow the least amount of rain chance we have is like 50 percent so this is this is the pasture where we put some commercial fertilizer on and i'm thinking about just i'm basically going to cut 20 25 acres maybe my dad says he can help me and uh especially if I get in a tight. So I'm going to cut today. I'm going to try to fluff this afternoon. We're going to pray. We've been praying for rain and those prayers have been answered. Now we're just, we're just asking for just the tiniest other little favor of stop the rain for two days, start it back up. So Jesus, if you're watching, we would appreciate it. All right. So like I said, we're going to cut about 20 acres down fluff it today, hopefully bail it tomorrow, wrap it tomorrow, and then Ben will just come back in town with more hay wrap than when he left. And I can pretend he would brag on me, but he won't. So, y'all come along. I'll try to get a little footage. I'm assuming he probably took the cameras with him, so it's going to be me, you guys, and a cracked iPhone. We'll see what kind of footage we can get. Y'all come on. Daddy and JL brought this over yesterday afternoon while I was finishing some work. So we're going to crank the old 6300 and give her a whirl today. But right after we make sure she's got some little goat juice. Oh yeah, she's happy. Already got a uh, princess ready, wrapper ready. All we need is for the weather to cooperate. show you what I'm dealing with here so you see this ryegrass ryegrass is still in good shape it's a little thin second cutting as to be expected but you see this Johnson grass coming on here's some Johnson grass there and you see it scattered everywhere so farming is basically all about risk assessment right and I'll tell you why I am taking this risk so if I don't cut this and have the risk of getting it rained on, this ryegrass is gonna die. When it gets hot, and we've got some upper 80s in the forecast, but it's gonna die. I'm gonna lose the value in this grass. And in turn, as it's doing that, the Johnson grass is just growing. The Johnson grass is fine to cut now. It'll be really good forage, it's young and tender cows would love that right now but 
that stuff is like kudzu you can pretty much watch it grow and if we go at least two more weeks before we cut this it will be instead of knee high it'll be over my head it grows that fast so what my plan is is you can see the majority of this property here is rye grass and johnson grass so i'm going to cut this down from here to the tree line down to the ditch but that area you see over there where it's there's not much rye grass i'm just counting that a loss on rye grass and we are going to let that mature on out the rye grass will die but there's not much johnson grass but what i will do is i'll go in there and hit those spots i'll either full spray or spot spray for johnson grass and just come back and cut the rest of that at a later date for dry hay so it's a little bit of a risky move but there's a lot of options you can do here but with this being predominantly rye grass that's why i'm making the decision that i am the executive decision because i can only argue with myself ben's not here therefore he's thrown out of the equation so all he's going to do is tell me what i did wrong that's fine so let's uh let's get this bad boy ready cut some hay anybody has one of these cutters if it doesn't cut the way you want it to cut is <clears throat> the tension on this side of springs it's what's giving you problems you see how much tension there is over there see how much i've let off here this will definitely tighten up as i let the head down but if you've got too much tension right there it comes set with a factory way too much tension it will as you're cutting if you're cutting on a side of a hill slope it'll pick this side up and it looks, it does an awful job unless you let that tension off. And you gotta adjust your cutter height pretty aggressive. You want that, you want that cutter bar facing down, cutting close. into today. Get me cut down. Got a couple hours to go. Help has arrived. It's about three o'clock and got that pretty much the majority of it cut down. Probably 20 or 30 acres. Daddy is out there he's probably got maybe an hour left fluffing having everything done it's about 85 degrees and started cutting that at eight this morning majority of the hay is testing at about 45 percent already where some crabgrass is at if you see the dark green tents out there close to where he is with a fluffer that stuff's running about 70 percent that's where a thicker bottom crabgrass is at so my plan right now is go take a cutter off put the rake on and start bailing some of this so this is going to be bailing the day that we cut that's nice it's father's day weekend we're trying to get done have a little bit of time if we can and we've got rain coming as usual so or possibly about a 30 percent chance tomorrow so we are going to hook the rake up the baler's already ready as you saw before and see if we can't bale some hay on the same day that we cut hay. The reason we're able to do that is that it's second cutting of ryegrass and being 85 degrees outside with sun shining on it, she is drying fast. So even if we, we're gonna go around those wetter spots, we're just gonna rake around and get where we need to. But even, even if we catch some of those, having some hay in the 40s and some in the 70s, it'll mix. So y'all hang in there and we'll get some more done shortly. That old 
whole thing, you can't just store it in any barn. I'll tell you that much. Got Daddy up there raking. Everything's going smooth so far. Roll on. Alright guys, I got out to clean the baler out for a second and I was going to show you guys a new toy that I bought. It's a Agritronics hay tester. It's a moisture tester. Also test the um, temperature of the bales. So I'll kind of show you. I, I tried one bale in this uh see if I can do this again thirty seven point six the last one I measured was was one of the first bales I did and it was about 52 or 53 percent. Pretty neat little deal there, Agritronics. Check them out. We'll put a link to them in this video where you guys can order one. So far I'm very pleased with being able to check on the go. This is pretty cool man, 735. We just have a little bit of hay left to bale. Uh, that was it's got a lot of crabgrass. It's over in this area here. So we're gonna leave it tomorrow probably about seven or eight acres This is some of the hay I was finishing up. It's got some crabgrass and this is really wet and I just kind of want to see what this new agritronic says on uh, On a bale like this how wet I'm gonna guess this bale is in the 60% range maybe more Guys, last bale is going out. This truck is just like Ben. When it's here, it's just in the way. Would would have known it belonged to Ben. Got some bales ready to be wrapped. This is the morning of day two. We wound up getting about 70 bales bailed yesterday, and we've got about probably 15 or 20 more bales to go. Got a good early start this morning. Got a lot of stuff done. And hopefully we're going to finish this field up here just a little bit before the rain shows up. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. As long as I can sit here in the truck and tell everybody else what to do, we'll be fine. You know, I was sitting here thinking when Ben's away, I get to play his role, which is basically sit here, do nothing and film. So, you know, when the cat's away, you get to be the cat. Hope you're having fun, Ben. I am. thing that I'm seeing with the auto steer is it works a lot better when there are not shadows. When you get into that area where you see shadows start, the auto steer acts up a lot more. If there aren't shadows, it does a whole lot better.
All right, guys, another successful hay day. I'm sure you guys may be getting a little bit tired of seeing hay, but it's kind of consumed our lives here for the past few weeks and months. So right at 90 rolls, I think it was 87 actually is what we wound up with. And Ben's still vacationing, but he'll be back probably on the next one and just got a little content to keep you guys busy. Appreciate you hanging in there with us. And I guess Jesus is watching because he gave us those two days of bright sunshiny weather with a 60% chance of rain, but now it's sunny and 90. Thanks, Jesus. See you on the next one. Check out the new Smurf hot rod. All right. Y'all don't hot rod it. It's a 2024 model.